Hi everybody, this is Anthony with Orange County Realtors here to bring a video tutorial on how to use Zoom for your video conferences. Now what is Zoom, you might ask? Well, Zoom is a company that allows you to host a virtual video meeting from the comfort of your home. You can have a video meeting uh, that shares your desktop uh, with your clients or even uh, people of your office to have office meetings or, or things like that. So let's get started. So what we're going to do first is go to zoom.com. So www.zoom.com. From here, we're going to need to sign up for an account to have Zoom. So what we're going to do is very simply come over to where it says plans and pricing and click. From here, we need to figure out what type of package we need to purchase in order to host our meetings and webinars. Part of that is going to determine or which package we're going to pick is going to determine how many people we can have in a meeting at the same time and of course how long or the duration of our meetings. Once you decide what package you want to purchase, just simply click on that package and sign up for the account. Now, to uh, after you sign up for the account and you create a username and password, come over to the top right corner and click sign in. From here, you're going to input your username and password that you just created. Oops, put in the wrong password. And we're going to hit sign in. From here, immediately we're going to come over to the left hand side and we have several menu choices, one of which is our profile. Make sure your profile is set up. Next is meetings, webinars, recordings, and settings. To schedule a meeting, very simply click on where it says meetings. And now choose the choice over towards the right that says schedule a new meeting. When we click on schedule a new meeting, we're going to now put in the meeting details. Meeting details such as the topic, the description of the meeting, the date, the time, the duration of the meeting, right? Um, we're going to work our way down this entire list until we go all the way down to the bottom that says save. Now, just some extra things here super quickly that you may want to check mark or leave uh, selected. The first is the meeting ID. You want to leave the choice that says gener uh, generate automatically the meeting ID for your meeting. That way, the system automatically generates a new ID for each and every meeting that you create. The next is the video portion, basically your video camera. You want to make sure that you select host on and participants on. That way, when the system turns on or you activate your meeting, your video camera immediately displays to show you on camera. Now, if you choose to not be on camera, that's OK. Then leave it to the off setting. The next is your meeting options. What you want to choose is enable join before host, meaning that as participants, participants click on their meeting link to join the meeting. The participants can now interact with each other while they're waiting for you to come online, which is really nice. You also want to enable the wait room or disable the wait room if you are enabling the join before host. And you want to uncheck mark or leave unchecked the record the meeting automatically on your local computer. What this does is it basically says that you have the choice to either choose to record the meeting or not. As you go through the meeting setup, you're then going to hit save. So after you choose a date, your time, the duration, and you hit save, you have now successfully scheduled your meeting. From here, what you want to do is make sure that you place your meeting on your calendar. If you have Gmail, merge your uh, merge this meeting or plop. Um, Place this meeting onto your Google Calendar or your Outlook Calendar, or if you're a Yahoo email uh, person, then put it to your Yahoo Calendar. But most importantly, down below where it says join URL, what you want to do with this link is copy this invitation and put it into an email to a client. 
or to your participants or your office um, mates to be able to host a meeting. What this will now do is send them an invite link to be able to register for the meeting and at the appropriate time, join the meeting on that date. Now, to actually start the meeting, when you go back into Zoom and you log back into your account, you're immediately going to go over to the left-hand side to where it says meetings. And from here, you will see a list of all your scheduled meetings. You're going to come over to the far right and click start. When we click on start a meeting, we're going to open up the Zoom meeting platform. A window will open up whereby your camera should be automatically turned on if you have enabled it and you will say join with my computer audio. And now what I can do is be on my camera and with my various other tools, host my meeting. From here, we can go to screen share to activate my meeting, things like that. This is the how simple it is to use Zoom to schedule a meeting and start a meeting on the Zoom platform. I hope everybody has enjoyed today's webinar. If you have any uh, questions, please feel free to give us a call or give us an email. You can call us at or call me at 949-586-6800, extension 104, or feel free to email me at Tony, T-O-N-Y, at ocrealtors.org. Hope everybody has a great day, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.